So what's the function of the scrotum? It's not to protect the testes. Okay. It lowers the body temperature so that the sperm can mature. Right. Some humans have problems with too much blood flow to their testes, so they're too warm, and they have trouble producing viable sperm. Now, I'm going to warn you right now. I've heard about this form of birth control, where before the guy goes on that hot date or whatever, he gets the hair dryer out. It's not going to work. All right? But, take a hot bath, not going to work very well either, okay? You might smell better, but that's about it. All right, I do want to point out one thing here. Um, in terms of, you know, birth control, protection against STDs, in all seriousness, you should look into it a bit because there are... So, in seriousness, you should think about this because the consequences can be long-term and very disastrous. And that's in seriousness, okay? Um, I used to give a, a lecture on this. I, you can fit a condom over your head, all right? So I, people said, oh, I don't want to wear them. It's a problem. It won't fit. Right. You can put them over your head, all right? So don't buy certain excuses, all right? Yeah. One student said, "If never mind. All right. Now, anyway, one form of birth control in males is vasectomy. It's very easy to do. Basically, you cut that vas deferens, you cut the connection, you fold over the ends, and you basically staple them shut. And as long, oh, it's not that bad. I haven't had it done, but the thing is, is it's a very easy surgery to do because the testes are readily accessible because of the scrotum, right? Very easy surgery to do. And the other advantage is that it's somewhat reversible, all right? Because occasionally you may decide if you get a divorce that you want to div you know, reverse that process. I had a student, his wife was an attorney, he made no money. During their marriage, they decided he would get a vasectomy, and he did. And if someone's got to do it, it should probably be the guy, because the vasectomy is an easy surgery, and I'm going to show you a moment what a tubal ligation is. A tubal ligation is major surgery because you have to cut through the abdominal wall to go to the oviduct to cut it, fold it over, and staple. And it's extremely difficult to reverse that one. So really the vasectomy is the choice. Anyway, in this case, he got they got a divorce. The attorney still had lots of money. He got married. His ex-wife paid to have the surgery to reverse his vasectomy, and he had children by his new wife, so good story. Do <laughs> you want to hear that bifurcated uterus story? So that bifurcated uterus story, uh, so they were a couple for many years, they tried to get pregnant, and then they got a divorce. But unfortunately, she happened to get pregnant, apparently like a month before they started the divorce proceedings, because they didn't know at the time. Anyway, so that's a bad story. Uh, yeah. Here's the penis here. Sorry, there are good stories and bad stories. Female here, 